EcoFlow, Delta Pro 3, and the Rivian R1T. Now let's see if we can charge the Delta Pro 3 from the Rivian's 120 volt inverter. Now I set the charge current to 1000 watts to start on the EcoFlow, so it's not gonna overload the inverter. I'm also using this three prong to two prong plug adapter because neither the Rivian nor the EcoFlow are grounded. Okay, let's turn the accessory outlets on. You can leave them on for up to three days and then you can turn them on again. Okay, here's the inverter spinning up. It's running fine. Let's check the EcoFlow. Okay, the EcoFlow is charging from the Rivian now at a thousand watts. Now the previous EcoFlow Delta II couldn't take 120 volt input and output to 40 volts at the same time. The new improved Delta Pro 3 can, so let's give this one a try. Now let's try to plug the 240 volt outlet into my home generator inlet. Although the EcoFlow is still pretty heavy, it's way more convenient than dragging out a gas generator and getting it to start. Okay, I'm turning off my largest load, my electric water heater, and both of my EV chargers first, and then I'm gonna throw the main and turn on the generator inlet. I have an interlock so you can't turn on the generator inlet at the same time while the main is on. Okay, so the EcoFlow is now charging from the Rivian's 120 volt inverter and it's also powering my generator inlet through the 240 volt outlet. Okay, so the EcoFlow is running smoothly. Let's go see what kind of loads we can turn on in the house. So my house is only pulling 800 watts right now with the idle load and the Rivian's charging the EcoFlow 1.3 kilowatts from the inverter. So the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 is pretty well matched to the Rivian R1T and R1S inverter and it will run a lot of the loads in your house if you have a 30 amp generator inlet like i do this one couldn't handle the water heater because it can spike up to four kilowatts but pretty much everything else all the lights the furnace all that's going to run for the better part of a week with the 130 kilowatt hour battery in the rivian now i let the ecoflow completely charge up to 100 percent just to see if there were any hiccups and it seemed to be working fine I would set the EcoFlow's charge rate to the lowest 400 watts because the Rivian's inverter can't run at a full 1500 watts constant. It really can only maintain about 1.2 kilowatts without tripping its e-fuse. I'll put a link to the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 on Amazon if you'd like to purchase. And check out my other video where I charge the Rivian using the Delta Pro 3 and the Rivian mobile charger. There you go. Remember to like and subscribe for more videos about EcoFlow, Rivian, Tesla, Wi-Fi, and tech products.